Hey guys, how you going? Spanners Germ 669 here for the House of Horror for yet another Friday review. I hope you're all doing really well. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing a film that hasn't really been recognised at all. It's very low budget and it doesn't actually have a release date on it. And it's not even on IMDb. So that shows you how little has known about this film. So I'm assuming that it's very, very recent. At most, it's five years old. So it hasn't been made longer than five years. But I do think that this is very, very recent, so within the last year or two. It's directed and written by Bill Robertson, whoever that is, and this film is called The Bisbee Cannibal Club. Now the story is as follows. Vegetarians are disappearing from the little town of Bisbee when a group of locals discover that their secret hallucinatory cactus garden has been used as a human barbecue and burial site, the existence of the Bisbee Cannibal Club becomes horrifyingly apparent. They form a vigilante gang, calling themselves the Bisbee Cannibal Hunters, to avenge their garden, save a vegetarian or two from being eaten, and have to try to survive the cannibal attack from the legions of flesh eaters now running amok. So basically what we have, it's set in Bisbee, which is this town in Arizona, I think. Uh, it's a quiet little town, and these cannibals are going through this town. They just appear to be normal people. Well, they're actually not normal people. They're human beings, but really sort of low-life type of human beings, so kind of like they look like homeless. So these cannibals are going through this town and they're pretty much picking off vegetarians. So I kind of like the idea that vegetarians were labelled as these innocent sort of hippie-like, uh, peace-loving people. And then you've got, on the other hand, the meat lovers, the, the cannibals who were basically picking off vegetarians. I don't know why they did this in the story, but it gave it, you know, it, gave it something a little bit different. So anyway, these cannibals, again, they can pretty much sniff out any vegetarian, and they're killing them at will. So the vegetarians have had enough. They form this group called the Cannibal Hunters, and they stage a war with these cannibals, and, yeah, it pretty much goes on from there. So I actually got this. This is a screener, and I got it because I like the look of the cover here. I thought it was pretty good cover art. And on the back, it looks really low budget, but I thought, you know, that scene where he's hanging upside down kind of reminded me of August Underground. I knew it wasn't going to be like August Underground. And then I saw the cover and it says, Explicit Scenes of Graphic Violence. So I thought, you know, there's a little bit of hope for this one. But I can safely tell you now that the cover art is the best thing of the, about this film. This is without doubt the worst film I've ever seen, and I don't say that lightly. It is... Very, very basic in the, f the way it was filmed, which I don't have a problem with. I'm all up for s supporting low-budget sort of cinema. But this seriously looks like a film that I could have done myself. It was that bad. The editing was non-existent. It looked as though they've just completed filming, and instead of going through it and editing, editing, sorry, and editing, sorry, I just <laughs> completely lost my uh, train of thought there. Instead of going back and editing all the footage that just didn't seem right. It looked as though they just were in a rush and decided to distribute it without even looking at it because there were some scenes there that were embarrassingly bad. Now, the acting was absolutely horrendous. It's not a film that you'll say it's so bad, it's so good. It's just so bad that it's just so bad. It's just, I really feel bad for canning this movie, but the fact that it was distributed and it looks as though it'll be on sale... I feel that you're really, you know, getting ripped off because this was a really juvenile effort and it leads me to believe that maybe this is a filmmaker who is starting off and I, you know, I'll give credit for that, you know, you've had a try, but it really isn't a film that I would say deserves to be sold. You know, you could give it away for free or, you know, put it on YouTube, but to actually get people to buy this now, it's just distributed from Chemical Burn Entertainment. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but it's not doing Chemical Burn any favours because this is just woeful. Um, I have to be honest, I have to review a film as I see it, and seeing this one is just really bad. Well, I'm trying to find good things about it, but it's just one of those films that you start feeling sorry. It's just... I don't know what they were thinking. There were just some scenes in there that I thought, my God, are you serious? It was just... It, oh, it's it's a bad film, and I would strongly urge you to avoid this one. If you can get it for free, by all means, you know, have a go. But if it's for sale, I I wouldn't even fork out five dollars for this one because it is just horrible. Now, 
as I said, I feel really bad for reviewing this one, but it was sent to me as a screener. It's supposed to be reviewed, and I like to see good in every sort of movie and just talk about that, but this one had nothing going for it. Now, I like the idea, as I said, of the cannibals and the vegetarians fighting each other because, you know, uh, a lot of vegetarians don't like the fact that, you know, uh, meat eaters are carnivores, and it just labelled the meat eaters as bad and the vegetarians as good, and you know it kind of uh, it was a stereotype of each of each group. So I like that idea. You know it was inventive in that way, but seriously, you know, no, no, not going to recommend this at all. I'd feel really bad for recommending it. So. Unfortunately, this one was terrible. Yeah, unfortunate. They had a go, but maybe you'd want to do a little bit more effort in the editing and polishing it up before you release it because, yeah, it just looked like no effort went into this one. It was just a having a bit of a giggle with a few friends with uh, one weekend and just putting it out there without even, you know, yeah. So yeah, that's my review of the Bisbee Cannibal Club, and um, I'm sorry if it offends people, but I've got to give my honest opinion, and yeah, so that's it. Alright guys, that's it for me, I'll be filling in for someone, uh, for Nick, um, Critic Nick on Sunday, it looks like, so until then, take care of yourselves and have a great day.